readers, welcome back today. Today I'm going to be reading this text called The Bravest Fish. It, was, it used to also be called Bright Stanley, it says. This is by Matt Buckingham, and I'm reading with permission from Scholastic today. This story is called The Bravest Fish. While you're reading, I want you guys to be thinking about the author's message. That is what the author wants you to learn from this text. Also, we're going to be talking today about character traits. We're going to be talking specifically about physical traits. The physical traits are what the character looks like. So like what color, what, what does their hair look like? In this book, this is about a fish. So we can talk about the color of the fish, which is gold. It's a goldfish. It says he's very brave. That's a personal trait. That's how he acts or feels. We're going to focus today on the, on the physical traits, but also we do know one of his personal traits just from the title, the bravest fish. It says it used to be called Bright Stanley. I wonder if that means that the bravest fish's name is Stanley. Okay. Far below the waves, a little fish, fish named Stanley lived with his school. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish of the deep, dark ocean. It says that they were bright and sparkly. So those are some of the physical traits. He's bright and he's sparkly. It also says he lives with his school. That's kind of strange. I wonder what that means, a school. Have you guys ever heard of a school of fish? A school of fish is just a group of fish. That's what they call a group of fish is a school. It's kind of funny. One morning, Stanley woke up late. Hello, it's me, he called to his friends. But the reef was strangely quiet. Oh no. Right now with everybody leaving him, I bet he's probably a little bit scared. This is called the bravest fish though. So I wonder if he doesn't need to be brave. Suddenly, Stanley remembered that today was the day his school swam to cooler waters for the summer. Jumping jellyfish, he groaned. He hurried to the meeting point as fast as his fins could carry him, but no one was there. As he looked around, he saw a bright light. Aha, they haven't gone far, he said, and he raced toward the glow. So I want you to think about why would he think that this bright light here, this glow, why would he think that's his school? Let's think back to his physical traits. He's sparkly, he's bright, and he glows. That would mean his whole school would glow because they're all the same kinds of fish. So he's thinking that this must be his school of fish because it's glowing. Hmm. His physical traits are pretty important in this book. Ah, oh, but it was only a lobster counting coins. Go away. Don't touch my treasure, the lobster growled, snip snapping his claws. I'm looking for my friend, said Stanley. Fish, the lobster grumbled. Those others were in such a hurry to find someone, they upset my coins. Others? Asked Stanley. My friends? Join them then, snarled the lobster, and Stanley sped off. It says they were looking for someone. Hmm. Ahead of him, Stanley saw a shimmer. He could just make out a bright, sparkly fish. One of his friends, hello, it's me, he called, swimming faster. Oh, again, his physical trait that he glows helps him try to find his friends. You see the fish that's glowing right here. Hmm. He's looking for a school, which would be a bunch of them, and he only sees one here, so I'm wondering, I'm predicting that that might not be his school, because there's only one. Clonk! Stanley crashed headfirst into something hard. When he turned around, Stanley found himself staring straight into the mouth of a huge... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you think it is? <gasps> Shark! Oh no, this is not good. Ah! Stanley shrieked. Over coral and under weeds, he sped with the shark, snapping at his tail. Finally, Stanley saw a small hole in a rock below. He dived down inside to just miss being gobbled up. Ooh, that was close. He was being very brave. I wonder if his physical traits made it easier for the shark to see him. If he can see his school of fish because they glow. I wonder if the shark can see him because he glows. Hmm. This physical trait is pretty important in this book. Deep within the cave, Stanley shivered and shook. He felt sad and lonely. 
He was beginning to think he'd never see his friends again. Hmm. He was sad and lonely. Well, that would be his personal traits. I was acting or feeling. Well, I can't stay here forever, he said at last. Stanley poked his head out of the cave to see if the shark had left. Jumping jellyfish, he squealed. The sea was a golden orange. It's golden orange. I wonder what he thinks is the golden orange is coming from. Glowing and glittering. Ooh. It was the most wonderful sight he had ever seen because there, in front of him, were... Oh, I don't know. It's glowing. I bet if it's glowing, it could be his friends because they glow. <gasps> his friends! Hello, it's me! He called. Stanley! His friends cheered. Where have you been? We have been looking all over for you. Oh, remember that page where he was the lobster said that the, he saw their friends and they were looking for a friend or looking for somebody? I wonder if they're looking for Stanley. Stanley told him of his adventures as they swam off in one bright, sparkly, happy school. The end. So in this story, you think about his physical traits. He is golden, he shimmers, he sparkles. And how did that help the story? In this story, in this text, the fact that he glows really helped him actually because it helped him find out all of his friends. So his physical traits, traits helped him out in this text. Also be thinking about what the author wanted you to learn. In the beginning, he was very scared. He was scared, he was worried, he wouldn't find his friends, but he was very brave and he left that cave and he found his friends. So I think the author is trying to teach you to be brave. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time.